next question is what is pointer how is it used what is pointer how is it used now we have variables like intx suppose float y there are two variables x y actually these x y are memory locations so they were allocated space somewhere in the memory and those locations will have their address every memory location has an address so the location where x is stored the location where x is stored has some address location where y is stored has some address therefore x x has a value that is let us put suppose x is equal to 100 x is equal to 100 x is equal to 100 y is equal to 200 now x has a value that is 100 and x has a value that is which is equal to 100 and has address also x has some address also that is nothing but address of address of memory location the address of x is address of memory location allotted to x so value of x is 100 whatever you have stored here that is 100 whereas x address is nothing but address of the memory location allotted to x so what is that address can we find yes we can find we will see how to display that similarly y also y is float the size may be different for x and y but both of them have some value suppose y float means let us give some float value 200 point suppose 45 so y has some value that is 200.45 and that also has some address so size may be different now let us see how these values and addresses are displayed Let us have two variables. Int x is equal to 100. Float y is equal to 125.75. Suppose. So these two are variables. Now, how do you display the values of these variables? Print of statement. It is easy. X is equal to percentage d. Y is equal to percentage f. X comma Y. Run. X is hundred. Y is one twenty five seven five. That is the way the values are displayed. Now, how do you know where they are stored in memory? What is the address of their memory location? That is also can be displayed. Address of X is equal to to display address. You have to use percentage. p and address of x is denoted by ampersand x so address of x is equal to to display in printf you have to use percentage p and the the value to be supplied to that address is ampersand x this one ampersand x represents address of x and percentage p is the format specifier to display any address let's run now so address of x is equal to something this is actually hexadecimal notation that is the address of the memory location where x is stored so this is the address of memory location that is 0022 ff18 something that is hexadecimal number 
that is the address of memory location where x is the variable x is allotted to that similarly y address of y is equal to ampersand y so address of y also you can see so like this every variable has some value and an address now what is a pointer pointer is also a data type uh, it stores the address of a variable that is pointer stores address of a variable so let us sell out pointers i am going to declare a pointer character and uh, int star p1 is equal to ampersand x now i want to uh, define a pointer for x so x is an integer so the pointer has to be also a integer pointer a pointer is declared with int star so p1 is a pointer which is integer pointer i think first we let's clarify now i am going to use a pointer for integer x since x is integer the pointer also has to be integer pointer so how do i declare integer pointer int star int x means that is an integer int star means integer pointer suppose let, let the name be say p1 the integer so p1 is an integer pointer this integer pointer p1 can contain address of an integer so let us store address of x in this address of x is stored in pointer p1 which is actually integer pointer now what is the use of it we can we can access the value of x through pointer also by using some method so how do we access using star star p1 or p whatever so if you use star in front of the pointer that is that accesses the value of the variable to which p1 is pointing to that means <laughs> to access the value of x we have to use star in front of p1 so let us see how to display the value of x using p1 print of value of x is equal to star p1 this is how we display the value of x using its pointer p1 so through pointer we can uh, display the value of a variable so p1 is a integer pointer which is pointing to x that is an integer and the value of the integer is displayed using star now what does p1 contain p1 contains the address of x we can display that also print of value of p1 is equal to percentage p comma p1 run now here you can see address of x and value of p1 are same because p1 is pointed to x address of x is this 
that is 0 0 2 2 f f 1 8 and the value of p 1 is also same thing because this pointer p 1 is pointing to x that means p 1 contains address of x so address of x and p 1 contents are same so if you display p 1 directly you will display its content that is the address of x whereas if you use star p 1 you will display the value of x that is 100 so let us erase all this and display this again okay print f value of x is equal to this is using pointer p1 address of x is equal to percentage p p1 so the first statement displays the value of x displaying value of x using its pointer p1 that is you have to use star p1 whereas the address of x is nothing but the content of the p1 itself so that is display using percentage p and just use p1 this is how this is the how the variables are used Similarly, we can have a variable for uh, y also. So, for y, y is a float point, floating point number. So, its pointer also should be floating point pointer. So, float star p2. Actually, we can first declare the pointer and then assign the value also. p2 is equal to ampersand y. You can do like this also float star p2 so p2 is a pointer to floating point number p2 is pointer to floating point number so it is declared as float star p2 so p2 is assigned address of y y is a floating point number its address is stored in p2 and whatever we did for x we can also do for y here So print of value of y is equal to star p2 and address of y is equal to p2 run. <laughs> okay, there is a mistake. The value of y that is floating point number, so let us put f here. Let's put a new line. So here in the second set of uh, messages that is the value of y is equal to 125.25 and address of y is 0022 ff10. So that is how we can use the variables. 